Hello everyone, today I'm making my festive um, leg chops with the ribs and I call it festive because I make it a bit different and I add some dried fruit and some other lovely ingredients and then you serve it with a lovely basmati rice and um, some green herbs. So without further ado, I'm going to start. you got a hot pot with some oil and I've got about two two kilograms about two two and a half kilograms of chops with some roots the oil is hot and you're going to add it to the pot okay so for now i'm going to add a teaspoon of salt or half a teaspoon to your taste there you go you can always add later if you need more and then some Freshly ground black pepper that I've just done now. I'm going to let that go and in the meantime I'm going to peel two onions, some green pepper, red pepper, jalapeno peppers and, um, and then I'm going to add it to this and some garlic and ginger and I'll be right back. Okay guys I'm back. So now I'm going to just throw everything in in one go. Okay, I've got two teaspoons of crushed chilies. Okay. I have my lamb and mutton spice. This is a tablespoon. Here we go. That's also going in. I'm going to add some lump sugar. If you don't have this, you can just use ordinary sugar now at the beginning or later on. And just a few, maybe a teaspoon or two teaspoons of sugar. Okay. And I'm going to add the two roughly chopped onions, some green pepper, red pepper, some jalapenos too, and some garlic. I've already added some ginger. I just forgot to record it. And I've got a nice big chunk. The ginger acts as a great tenderizer. And don't worry that um, the onions are not browned or anything. This is how this dish is made. You'll see now. Magic. I'm going to let this go for about 10 minutes and we'll be right back. So guys, been, guys it's been about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to add my things here. <laughs> it's the dog soy sauce. You can buy it at the Cape Town Spice Emporium, Imam Harden Road, or at uh, a lot of butchers has it as well. I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons. Okay. Some Worcester sauce. Also a couple of tablespoons, three to four, something to a few taste. And some rice seasoning. If you don't have the rice seasoning, it's about a tablespoon. So you can add normal vinegar. Remember the sugars in there? There we go. Stir. Mm. 
<laughs> now if you want to add any whole spices to this you can you can add star anise allspice cinnamon stick clove it's entirely up to you you can even add like bay leaves as well This is gonna go. I'm gonna add half a liter of water, hot water, and you're gonna cook this on medium heat for an hour and so every 10 minutes you come and stir, see if there's enough water, it mustn't burn. So it's gonna be a slow, slow cook for an hour, and then I'll come back and then I'm gonna add my mixed uh, dried fruit and then cook it further for half an hour until the sauce has reduced it's sticky and uh, yeah and we'll be back okay guys the meat has cooked nicely okay now i'm gonna add my dried fruit You can see the meat is curry. Well, we just let this cook. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and I guess at this you can serve with a nice sticky rice. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Okay, I'm gonna taste now to see if it needs anything else. so good now the dried fruit is gonna make it that nice sweet sticky sour oh it's gonna be so good guys so good okay I'm gonna let this go just for about 20 minutes now if you have a, a nice tender meat or the meat is cooked after 30 minutes and you taste and it's on the softer side and you can add your your um, dried fruit You can use this recipe for oxtail as well, but of course you have to cook it for a longer time, the oxtail. Um, you can use this recipe for other meats as well and just add the dried fruit. Just adds that fantastic dimension. Now I call it my festive meal because you have your other meats or salads and everything on your table and this just adds something uh, different um, to the menu. Now, okay, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, the cooking time is done. I've got some rice, some garnish in the dish up, because you must now must do a photo inside as well. Ooh, liquor. Ooh, liquor. Looky, looky. Look at that. You can dishes in a platter. It's entirely up to you. Look at that. Oh, yummy in my tummy. Mm -mm -mm. Sauce. Look at that. Okay. And then I'm going to put some sesame seeds, some jalapenos, just a few, some coriander, and some thinly sliced cucumber. And there you have it. My, my festive lamb rays, absolutely delicious with dried fruit. Yummy in my tummy.
tummy. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll be back again with another video soon. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye, everyone.